Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do another reading for February. This is for around the middle of February, you know, uh, mid-February. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So this may or not, may not be for you. This is for whoever needs it the most. Okay, that's the message that's going to come out for somebody that really needs the message. Okay, I, you know I focus on love. Whatever comes up, comes up. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. And then we're going to use that deck right here. We're just going to see what comes up. Virgo. What do we got for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Overall energy for Virgo. Ooh, wisdom. Could be dealing with a Taurus. This is a Hierophant card. This is about listening to your inner guides, about having faith and trust to follow your own path. This is also a card of commitment. Maybe you're going to get into a commitment with a Taurus or you're in a commitment with a Taurus. Um, this is about believing, um, listening, um, using your wisdom to make decisions, learning. You know, whoever you're dealing with, if you are dealing with a Taurus, or you're whoever you're dealing, or this could be you, this is somebody that is very wise, somebody that is very respected, somebody that is a teacher, they're here to, if you're dealing with a Taurus, say you have a Taurus that's coming into your life, or they're in your life now, this is somebody that has come into your life to teach you something, Okay. And it does have to do with loyalty because dogs are loyal. Whoever this person is, they're very loyal. Could be you. Could be you taking on this energy. I'm not sure. Now, fives are about uh, changes and choices. Expect the unexpected. You may have a change coming in that you know you didn't expect so just keep that in mind what else do we have for virgo this is if you're dealing with um, this person this person is very enlightened okay you see the light very wide awake could be you this could be you because it's a fellow earth sign so this could definitely be you taking on this energy but it could also be the person that you're dealing with new beginning you know i really feel like a lot of you do have a new beginning on the horizon if you are single it could be with a taurus um or if you were in a commitment there could be a new beginning with your taurus if you're with the taurus now or this is just a new beginning for you period because this is a this is the birth of something new it really is so congratulations and Taurus got this card Taurus this is on the bottom Taurus got this card so for a lot of you there could be a Taurus coming into your life okay just that's that's pretty cool all I gotta say about that um yeah Virgo, what do we have for Virgo? New partnership by the looks of things. Or if you're in one right now, your commitment could be moving it up. You know, you if you're in a relationship right now, your your relationship could be stepping it up towards marriage. Whatever this is, it probably does involve marriage. This is a card of marriage and commitment. Could lead to that. This is also seeking guidance. So some of you may be seeking guidance from within as in regards to a relationship. Do you want to stay there or do you want a new beginning? I mean, this can go so many ways. This is absolutely questioning a union. There is no doubt. Do you want it or not? Because that's what this question is. Maybe you're seeking guidance. Maybe you're watching this reading because you're trying to... Re do you want this right here? Do you want this? 
That's the question, right? Do I want this partnership or do I want a new beginning? You know, could go so many ways. So many people are watching this, so it's 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 not just for one person. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Mm. Now, the King of Swords in reverse is an abusive individual. This is abusive. Somebody that is controlling and manipulative. Somebody that is not heartfelt, okay? It's like they don't use their emotions. Very cold energy. Abusive. So I don't know how that resonates. It's just the first card. Six of Cups. Yikes. Now, Six of Cups is memories of love or somebody from your past. Now, we have some abuse here. Let's get some more cards. Ooh, that are keeping you trapped. Oh, my God. Somebody has an abusive past that is keeping them trapped. Son of a bitch. You know, now they probably have this opportunity to uh, only focus on the future, but it's like that past is haunting them. This person in the past, you know, has has really hindered this other person's ability to see other options as valid. It's like they're, the expectations of commitment have dwindled because of the abusive past. It's like somebody has set their expectations so high that and it's because they're protecting themselves from getting hurt again. You could be dealing with somebody who's really protective or it's you, you know, protecting themselves from a union. So just beware. Um, or it could be you. I mean, this three of wands reverse, it's like the you're not seeing the opportunities. It's like somebody isn't seeing the opportunity because they've been abused in the past. Son of a gun. Yeah, and it's like they're trying to protect themselves. Definitely. Trying to stay, keep things safe. I only want something stable. Yeah, somebody is really, really burdened, overwhelmed with their thoughts, overwhelmed with the baggage of the past. This is baggage of the past, like I'm still carrying it, I'm still carrying that past, and it needs to be dropped. Somebody is really not allowing love to come in because they're in complete protection mode. Trying to protect themselves from giving their stability away to somebody else. It's like I'm trying to save myself from being abused again. But it's heavy. This is a heavy load. This is overwhelming. It's over the past is overwhelming a person, keeping them mentally trapped from opening their heart. It could be somebody may have lost their focus, may not have the drive and the ambition to drop what doesn't serve them somebody just doesn't have the focus it's like they don't have the willpower they don't have the courage the queen of wands reverse somebody doesn't have the courage to break free to take the mask off and just be confident face their insecurities Somebody is overwhelmed with thought about
giving time and energy to a real love connection. And it's because they... They just don't, they don't feel like they can, they don't have the courage. They don't have the strength. The Queen of Wands, I mean, she's about strength and courage. It's reversed. They all have the strength and the courage to escape from whatever it is that they need to escape from. But this Six of Wands, this is about recognizing that you do have an opportunity. It's like somebody does recognize you. They recognize. Somebody recognizes that there is a connection. Somebody recognizes that there is a real connection. But it's like they don't want to deal with conflict. They don't want to deal with conflict. They don't. Want to bite off more than they can chew. So we have somebody here that has an opportunity, a new beginning. They have an opportunity to start a relationship or even step their current relationship up another notch or get out of a relationship. It could go any way. It could go either way. It's like somebody has an opportunity for a new beginning here, a new life. Okay, they do. But they're going to have to face their insecurities. They're going to have to let go of something, okay? This is the Ten of Wands. This is letting go of something that is weighing them down. And it does have to do with the past. It has to do with memories. It has to do with some sort of abuse. This is even neglect. I mean, there's so many forms of abuse. The King of Swords in reverse is a neglectful, abusive energy. That is keeping somebody trapped. It's keeping somebody trapped from putting their guard down. I think that there is somebody from the past that is probably still in the energy. Somebody that is probably not happy. Could even be a child. I don't know. Somebody that is not happy with... The recognition. Because this is recognition. And this is observation. This is like stalker energy. Now I'm not sure if this person is going to get really upset. Because you're being recognized. Or you're falling in love. Or you're having a new beginning. But for some of you that could certainly be the case. We have somebody here that is not happy about perhaps you dropping them or you letting them go or you not focusing on them. It could be a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it looks like we have everybody here. Somebody has wasted their time on something that was stable, okay? It was financially stable or something like that, you know? But it was keeping them trapped, it was keeping them trapped. Yeah, it wasn't love or it's not love or whatever it is. And now it's like they have an opportunity to have a union seriously was in a new beginning with somebody. But there's an overwhelming situation here. There's something that is too heavy that needs to be dropped before this love can be accepted. Somebody is carrying around a burden from the past. I mean, you can't make that shit up. Okay, a burden from the past. It's overwhelming. And it's like now somebody recognizes that there is an opportunity for love. They may have involved another person. And now they want to put in more effort to 
fix something. They want to make something work. What the hell is this? Yeah, but they could be dealing with a really bitter individual. You may be dealing, or this could be you. Somebody is bitter and upset and resentful. Totally uh, not happy with the situation. It's like somebody's life has been turned upside down because of somebody who used them. And now this person is pissed off. I mean, she's not happy. When the Queen of Swords is in reverse, watch out. Watch out. And she's got a weapon in her hand. It, maybe she's about to take that mask off and step outside of her shell. Looks like she's got that sword to just cut herself free. Drop that load. And head towards a relationship, the real deal. Whew. So it looks like we may have an ending. Because the ten is, is a completion. We may have a completion of an overwhelming situation. Something that was burdensome from the past. It's over. It's over. This person knows it's over. Somebody knows it's over and they're not happy. So beware. Beware. Somebody may not be happy that you are you are moving up a level. Maybe you're getting engaged or you know, you're falling in love or you're moving in with somebody or something. There's something happening here where you guys are transitioning into a new union, whether it's, you know, a brand new one or one that you've been in and it's stepping up the notch. I mean, you're, whatever the case is, somebody's not happy about your newfound commitment. Okay. This is for, for, I don't know who that's for. I really don't, but that somebody's not happy about it. Just saying you got somebody that's not happy. Um, it looks to me like you have somebody that is really going to put in a lot of effort to make something work too. Somebody is really going to put in a lot of effort to make it work. Okay. It's like they really want a commitment with you, Virgo. Um, and this could, this is something that may have been delayed for quite some time it may have been delayed because of the past because of that feel because of the baggage and all of a sudden it's like i'm breaking free i'm cutting the cords i'm cutting the cords i'm breaking free and i'm going to allow i'm going to allow this to happen and i feel like this is something that you can hold on to i think that you have a new opportunity here with somebody that you recognize as being really a good match for you. Um, and this person thinks that you're a good match as well. So I don't know what, the, the, what this is, but I think this is sudden. I think there's a sh sudden shift from holding on to the past to just letting it go. Letting go of the situation that seemed stable but really wasn't heartfelt. Interesting. Yeah, and I think that you guys are taking the power back. It's like you're shedding the old and bringing in a more successful relationship. I think that you have manifested a new beginning here, Virgo. This is manifestation. Or you've manifested something beautiful, whether you're in this relationship now and things are just like moving up. You know, whatever's happening here, it looks like it is beautiful. It looks like it's something that could lead to a lot of happiness. It's something that you have really found the resources within you to manifest. It's powerful. It's like magic. 
It's like all of a sudden this has happened and it's like magic. This is, I mean, there's a golden opportunity. She's got a piece of gold. She's putting it in the bank. It's something that you can save. After B, somebody's been in an abusive situation where they were neglected. And it's like all of a sudden, if as if by magic, there's this happiness that has come about. And you may feel like you've known this person before. Maybe you do. Maybe maybe this is a past life connection. Okay? Maybe this is somebody that you knew a long time ago. I don't know. But this is a connection that is beautiful. And somebody's not happy about it. I have to be honest with you. We have somebody that's that's jealous and upset that you suddenly don't care about them anymore. You suddenly are no longer holding on to them. Yep, it's like you're not going to hold on to the unrealistic. You're no longer going to wait around. It's like I'm no longer expecting anything from that situation. I give up on that. Somebody has been staying in the safest, protecting themselves, staying in the safest option for so long. It's like, I, nope, done. Breaking this chain. I'm taking the mask off. I'm standing up and I'm cutting that cord and I'm going to be happy, God damn it. So I see a lot of happiness here, Virgo. I think that you are going to receive something from somebody that says, you know, maybe it's about marriage or it's about the beginning of new love. We have a magical, this is magic. We have a magical connection here that has suddenly come about. It's sudden. It is sudden. I mean, this could even be a child that's upset. It could be a child, could be the ex, could be anybody. Somebody's not happy. That you have the power back in your hands. That you have manifested this relationship. And it's like, they probably, they don't, they don't want you to have that wish fulfillment. Whoever that person is, they don't want you to have. It could be you. Could, could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I mean, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be anybody. Just saying. It's like somebody definitely doesn't want you to get this blessing, but this bless. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. Whoever it is that you're dealing with is a hard worker. They're a hard worker and. They, they, they aren't going to waste your time like the other one did. Some of you are overly emotional and afraid, afraid to open your heart or you're dealing with this person. You could be dealing with this other person who's, who's afraid to open their heart. They're afraid to be manipulated. They're afraid to, um, Get hurt. We have somebody here that's afraid to get hurt. So they may shut. They may seem like they shut down emotionally, and it's because in the past the wish fulfillment they didn't get what they wanted, right? They didn't get what they wanted. So yeah, somebody is dealing with a person that is afraid to open their heart. But with tender, loving care, it can happen. Tender, loving care, it can happen. It's like we have this person over here that doesn't believe that I will ever get what I want. Doesn't believe. But if you love them and you hold their hand and you nurture them, they will believe. You have the power. You do. Somebody is fearing that this won't, there's, there's lack of, of, of faith here. Lack of faith that 
anybody's going to last. So I think that you're dealing with a person, whether it's you or them, that is doesn't have faith in love. It's like they've given up on love. That's what it looks like to me. So, you know, with a little bit of tender love and care and hand-holding and perseverance, this could work out. It could. But somebody has to master their emotions and really take the reins. Take the reins because somebody needs protection. We have we have somebody here. It looks like a woman that has been really hurt and she's hard to love. She's hard to love because she has been deceived and stomped on. And, you know, you have the power to fix this. You have the power to bring success, whoever the man is. If it's the man watching this, I feel like you still have the power and that you have manifested a new relationship. We have a new relationship here. Or or a relationship that is moving up to the next level and it's been hard. It's been really, really hard to move it up because there's been so much neglect. Okay, there's been neglect. And in order for this to work out, somebody's going to have to really... Give, like give, 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 like listen, um, tender loving care. I mean, that's all I can really say. Yeah, there's been a lot of hurt and mental anguish. I think we have somebody here that's really worried about being manipulated, really worried about opening their heart, really um, been wounded, seriously wounded from the past. And I think this person um, can't can't stop thinking about what happened in the past. But if you nurture them, it will it will float away. It will float away. So I feel like we have somebody that is heading in the right direction. They're making big moves. Their life is changing and it's because they're taking the power back. Somebody is definitely heading in a different direction. After they've been stuck in a bad situation for too long. It's like they're taking action to break free from a stagnant situation they've been stuck in that was going backwards going nowhere somebody's doing what they need to do to find balance to bring it back i think we have a we have a decision that is being made to let go of a false contract that isn't meant to be and head in a new direction that is meant to be. That's what it looks like to me. So Virgo, I feel like you have a union here that is coming into place that... could lead to commitment, okay? A long-term commitment. Marriage, it's beautiful. It's like a new life. Somebody has had a run of bad luck because they couldn't find the willpower and the strength and the courage to break free from something that was keeping them trapped. But it's like somebody is finally finding that power and the strength to just cut that cord and head out. And because they do that, and they stop expecting anything from this hurtful, neglectful situation, now they got this new beautiful union that is going to change their life. So I see a major life change here with that, that, that five right there. Major life change is on the horizon. 
And it's bringing you together with some sort of soulmate. Then we have a soulmate connection here. And we have one false contract that is ending. For real. So if you are single, you may be coming into contact with somebody that you have known before, even if you don't know them in this lifetime. This is somebody that you are going to feel very, very familiar with. And it's because you let go. It's because you cut that cord. If you are in a coupled relationship right now, it looks to me like for some of you, you know, you could be breaking one. Some of you are breaking a contract. This is this is like getting out of a contract and right into another one. For some of you, it is that is the case, and somebody's not happy about it. For, and then for another group of you, this is some of you that are in a relationship now, and it's moving up. It's moving up to a real union. Either way, I see a union here for everybody. We have a new beginning here. A new beginning, a new life with a partner, okay? A life partner. This is a life partner. It is. So yeah, that's what I have. I mean, that's what I have. I see a, I see a beautiful connection here that is meant to be. Don't let your past hurts the person that neglected you steal your power this is a magical connection that you have manifested take it let go of the false contract that doesn't serve you wasn't meant to be wasn't destined but you do have somebody that is Perfect for you. That's what I see. Right here. Right here. Right now. Good luck.